if you have low equity, you need to increase equity because it protects your business. That's what growth is about. Okay? There may be a position in life where tax is a problem. I used to go to young couples who would have six loans, all on separate lines of the budget. Motorbike, tractor, cows. And what was motivational was, I used to love it when a young wife would say to me, the cow loan's gone. That's motivational. Well, we've cleared it. The cows are ours. And when all those are lumped in together, and there's no pressure to pay them off, it's very tempting to find something else to spend and go on. So we don't grow. In your world now, FPOS. What a lovely convenient invention. Well, you've probably never seen a checkbook, let alone a passbook. Passbook. We used to go to the bank and put it under the counter and they give us money. We now have accounts that are linked across. We have multiple credit cards. We have redraw facilities. And we have merchandiser credit. I have been to share farmers who've crossed the line, who've been totally bamboozled by the financial world of where you can get access to money. And the list of sources on their liabilities includes dairy factories. In, when I was young, you only got money off a dairy company if you were a cash basket case. You couldn't manage your own cash flow. <coughs> now, I don't know, 60% of dairy farmers get money off factories. It's another source of finance. Fertiliser finance, feed finance, a whole range of them. So all I'm saying is, you need a greater skill set to work your way through that. It's not impossible, and I'm not being gloomy, it's just that I get very upset when I go to young people who've been taken on too much debt and are a bit bamboozled. So one of the real skills is financial. And again, I don't know how to describe it. Um, probably. We've talked about growth. Tell me about that. Hey? Go to Holmes. Yeah. Now, if, if you've been alert and listening, you now give me an explanation of why, if I bought a ute like that, maybe, or you know, whatever, why it is not a good business investment. In fact, it says <coughs> something about people. And I did go around before I came in here tonight and look at cars that are parked outside and I have got a few rego numbers. <laughs> right. And normally at this session I say someone's left their lights on and it's one of these and get them to stand up and ask them what sort of... But I won't do that tonight. <laughs> Tell me what that's saying if I'm under 30 and I've bought that. Likes cars. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, what's it say? What's your return on your investment? In fact, I'm still stuffing around. Okay, I've actually, I've actually eroded my equity. What little bit of equity I have, I have eroded. Are we all agreed on that? You sure? <laughs> Because if we're all agreed on it, right? Right. Have I made my point? Because when we actually look at that, thirty-six grand in two years, it's worth twenty-two. But I still owe twenty-five. I'm minus four grand, and more importantly, the 36 grand could have been spent on growth. I, I buy a new Subaru every two years. 
But for my first five years of consulting, I drove a pretty shit Felton station wagon. Okay? <laughs> and, and, most, and most of my clients who've grown great wealth, you go back and look at their cars, and they, they drive crap heaps for about 10 years. Now, I get annoyed with them now when I drive in the drive and they're still driving a crap heap and they're worth seven million dollars. <laughs> like, there's a happy medium with tight ups, correct? Right. Um, my wife does say, why don't we get in your car every couple of years? Two things about this. I, I had a couple in the McAllister Irrigation District who, when the price crap crashed in 0809, so we were up there at about six bucks. Overnight it went to three, remember? Yeah. This couple were negative equity at that point. And I said, well, you've got two options. You can try and creep through if your trading partners, your feed company, your fertiliser company will let you. Or you can sell up now and your cows will probably go for 600 bucks. And they, they toughed it out. After the opening price was announced this current year, I ended up there on about the 20th of July. I've driven in the drive. And there is, what's the fancy Commodore? What's the fanciest Commodore you can buy? Club Sport. Club Sport. I've driven in the drive and here is a Club Sport black leather seats sitting there. This couple were that close to getting out of the poo and they've done that. And I could barely talk and they looked at my face and the wife said, oh the boys bought it for me, they reckoned I deserved it. And I said, look, you can do what you like but it would have been great to just put it off for 12 months. Now, as it turns out, the milk price is going to be still OK next year, but it was just a classic case of we just got a bit, of, we just got a bit excited and let go a bit, right? And they could have crawled out of it, but they didn't quite quickly enough. Whatever you're putting in, you want to get it back or more, and if you're over this side of the line, you want to make sure it's more, right? So let's take, for example, uh, Nitrogen fertiliser. <coughs> it's not a straight line, and if you go, if you put too much in, for the last kilogram that's costing you a dollar sixty, you'll get a dollar back. Minus sixty cents. Do that often enough, and you can't pay the bills. Do it with feed, same deal. Do it with cows. The, s the solution to every farm problem is milk more cows. Milk more cows. We've got so much debt, let's put on extra cows. I always say, am I the first extra cow or the last? Which would you prefer to be? The first extra cow or the last? You know, you know what I mean? The first extra cow, picture getting on a tram tonight in the heart of Melbourne at 5.30. I'm the last extra passenger. The tram door opens. Shit. I try squeezing like this, there's no room, I'm half hanging out, the door's shutting on me. Am I a happy last passenger? No. Go back an hour later, door opens, three vacant seats, plenty of room for me. The first extra cow will be profitable. The last extra cow will cost you money. That's that curve. And very, very good dairy farmers. Was it the green one? Yeah. Very, very good dairy farmers, the people who've got it, have some skill by watching every day and getting those two things right and watching every day to operate there. And if the milk price drops like mad and supplement prices don't drop, they come back to here. It's just simple business economics.